What's going on everybody? What's going on? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Lindsay coming at you live just out of the gym. Um, I hope I've got good service. I Sometimes you're just like, maybe I'll wait to go home. And then I was like, oh, when I get home, everybody's going to be pulling me aside, needing me. So I thought I would give some of my extra time here to you. You're definitely going to want to share this video. Um, it's a great, great tip for you, especially as we head into a new week and a fresh start for a lot of you guys as so many people decide to set their goals, their intentions, um, all of the things that they want to do for the week. Um, it's going to be great for you. Um, it's going to help you guys build your confidence. It's going to help you guys um, be a little bit more awesome because I already know you're awesome. Um, but as you guys are tuning in, please tell me where you're tuning in from. If you can hear me, type I can hear you in the comments, <laughs> please, because I'm connected to my car. I have no idea how good my service is, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it. I'll save this video and I will share it to my Instagram as well. So definitely hit the share button. Tell me where you guys are tuning in from. Um, I am just, this is one of my favorite topics. This is one of my favorite topics. This is the topic that I got into this industry for. This is the topic why, you know, I chose to take the health and wellness route when it comes to inspiring people and working with people and motivating people and getting people to move into action. Um, and nothing happens in your life. Nothing changes until you start believing in yourself and you start talking yourself into being a little bit more awesome every single day. And I'm going to give you guys a few tips. Um, to take you, you know, from a, maybe a one or two on the scale of confidence to a 10, to a 10. And I'll tell you right now, this is like the, the big warning sign. This is not going to happen overnight. And I'm going to need some, some intentional action from every single one of you. It's going to take a little bit of discipline to put this into your day, but it's something I think with time it's going to build. And I want to thank my friend, Chelsea. She's not going to care that I call her out because winners are constantly asking questions. Winners are constantly in the pursuit of better. They're constantly wanting to learn more and they're super excited to go out and take the things that they learn and, and teach other people. And I can tell you guys, eight years ago, when I first dove into something that really was uncomfortable to me in this industry of community-based marketing, I was like scared for people to say no. I was scared that I wasn't, it wasn't gonna work, that I would lose my investment money and all of those things, right? because I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. I was that girl years ago, believe it or not, that sat in the back of a classroom, okay? True story. Sat in the back of a classroom, scared to raise my hand, scared to voice my opinion, scared that I would say the wrong thing, worried about what other people thought of me. And a lot of it wasn't because my parents didn't teach it to me. They were wonderful parents and I saw their confidence. I saw them move through life with positive attitude and action and doing incredible things. It was a thing that was personal to me, right? I didn't build my self-confidence. I was always kind of waiting for other people to give me that, that nudge to like talk me into being greater, um, and talk me into building, you know, a little bit of belief in myself. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Type yes in the comments. Like, why are we always seeking outside validation to go do cool things, right? Why are we always waiting for other people to tell us that we're beautiful and we're strong? And gosh, you're just, you're just so fun to listen to. Gosh, I just love your energy. Gosh, you know, if I only had a little bit of your motivation and your, your desire to get up, I would just get up every day and exercise, right? Like some of these things I've been hearing over the years, but but it's not because other people told me and I started to believe it in myself. It's because I started to say things every day. Have you guys heard the phrase, type this in the comments, fake it till you make it. Type it in the comments, fake it till you make it. Have you guys heard of that before? Okay. This is kind of like, the, the adult version of faking it till you make it, right? Like that's like doing something and saying something to yourself, kind of walk in, walk in the walk, talk in the talk until you actually truly were walking the walk, right? Like talk it till you walk it. I kind of like that. I'm going to coin that right there. Um, talk it till you walk it, right? And sometimes we have to talk ourselves up. Sometimes we have to look in the mirror and sometimes get uncomfortable and say things we truly don't believe about ourselves at the moment, but we actually do right? In time, maybe it's not next week or next month or maybe even next year, but eventually if you say the same things over and over, you are going to start believing them. Just like if you get on a bicycle and you fall multiple times, you're eventually going to learn how to ride a bike, right? You get in a pool of water, somebody's got to help you swim for a while, and then look at you, you're swimming on your own and you eventually don't even have to think about it. It just becomes a part of your every day. You wake up, 
you do it, right? At lunchtime, you do it. Dinner, you feel the same way. And then this just continually starts to add belief. So I'm going to give you guys an action step. Okay. Remember this does not happen overnight. This is does not happen overnight, but some of you guys are struggling. Just like when Chelsea asks, like, how do I start believing those things and say it, say it till I believe it. And it's consistency, right? It's that consistent effort every day to say, you know what, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to take time to look in the mirror, to read a list of 10 things that I may not believe about myself right now, but I guarantee you if you read them every day out loud and speak them to the universe, you're eventually going to start seeing yourself as that strong person, that brave person, that confident person, right? That intelligent person, right? That go-getter, right? That person who loves challenges, right? That person who wants to be better every single day. You're going to eventually start seeing yourself. Okay. It's just, it, it's not something I made up. This is something I've learned over the years because I put it into action in my own life. The things that I say every day, they become actual things that are a part of my life right now. I wake up every day. And the first thing I say to myself is I am a magnet for success, wealth, and contribution. My words and my actions inspire. I am a self-made multimillionaire mentor. Most of you who know me know that I'm not a self-made multimillionaire mentor yet, <laughs> but I can still say it, right? This is like the, the talk it till you walk it, right? The fake it till you make it. I'm going to tell myself that because I know that I'm worthy for that. I'll go on saying I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm talented. I'm confident. I'm brave. I love challenges. I embrace challenges. I love to give back. I love to share smiles. I love to see other people win. I love to share my brand with people. I love to see people feel better. I, I am inspired to see people move their bodies every day. Their actions inspire me. Do you guys see what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. It's just the way it's become because I chose to work that muscle. If you go to the gym every day and you work out and you take three weeks off, it's going to be harder to get back at it because you chose to sit on your butt for three weeks. It's the same with pumping yourself up and talking to yourself, okay? It's the same thing. You're just not in the gym, you're in the mirror, brushing your teeth every morning. Can you do that for me? And if you're struggling to find out the things that you're really good at right now, because a lot of you are, like admit it. Go on to your Facebook page, this is the activity I want you to do today, and I want you to say, when you see me or you think of me, what are the first three things that come to your mind? You guys, I did that a few years ago and I like sat there literally like bawling because I didn't believe all those things about myself. But guess what? I added it to my affirmations every morning. I started telling myself that I am beautiful. I started telling myself that I'm full of energy and life and love and happiness and I exude just a sense of motivation and drive because other people told me that they saw something in me that I didn't see yet. So I started telling myself that every day and now I see myself that way. So I take that positive action every day. I get up excited. I get up inspired. And then I go try to teach people like you to go do the same thing so that you can wake up feeling as awesome as I do every day. You guys can talk yourself into feeling awesome. Did you know that? You just have to choose to do it and get a little bit uncomfortable doing it at the beginning. And then it's just going to flow, right? It's just like the first domino that hits the next, that hits the next, that hits the next. And it becomes easier and easier every day. And then other people are going to see that. They're not, they may not see you reading them from the mirror every day. Y'all, I literally, when I first started saying I'm a magnet for success, wealth, and contribution, my words and actions inspire, you know, I'm a self-made multimillionaire mentor. I started reading that in my car every day because I was forced to get in my vehicle and go to a job that I really didn't feel like was like pursuing my personal purpose. And the more I read that, the more confident I get into building my side gigs so that I wouldn't have to go to that job anymore. Okay. And it slowly just started to unravel some beautiful, exciting, awesome things that have come into my life over the last eight years. And I'm forever grateful for that. I'm forever grateful for this industry because it taught me that every day I have to learn and every day I have to be better. And I am not every single day a 10 out of 10 on the confidence scale. There's days where I'm hovering about a five, six, 
but I will never go back down to that one too because I'm constantly working that muscle of feeling good about myself. If this makes sense, put yes in the comments. Share this video, share it with a friend who needs a little love tap and just say, hey, my friend Lindsay explained it this way, it's helped me, it's inspired me, and now I want you to go try this this week. Maybe you can find an accountability partner. Every morning you guys can send your affirmations to each other. Wouldn't that be cool? Like Chelsea, send it to Glow, right? Glow, send it to Suzanne. Every morning that person who's your accountability partner is gonna be waiting for you to send 10 things that you love about yourself, right? I'm brave, I'm smart, I'm confident, I'm determined, I'm loved, I'm so talented, I am loving challenges, I love life, I love my friends, I love my family, I love learning, I love my faith, I love to contribute, I love to give back. Like, what are the things that you're saying to yourself every day? Doesn't have to be something you believe right now, something you aspire to be as well as the things that you already are. Go to your Facebook page right now. Say to everybody that's following you, even if you think they're not following you, they're probably going to comment and just say, when you look at me, what are three things that you think of? When you hear my name, what are the first three words that come to mind? It's going to bring smiles to your face. It's going to give you a little excitement, a little motivation to tackle your awesome week. That's it for me today, guys. If you guys love this, share the video and I will also upload it to my IGTV and my YouTube. You guys are awesome. Have a great week. Thanks for listening. Bye.